What's up guys? This is Cody Peace here. So it's been a been an interesting month. Uh first off, um got a new speaker system. Uh decided I was gonna use, use that in my video instead of my little Bluetooth speaker. Uh I added some more bands to my phone. Let's see. Few, uh, mainly a few grunge bands, uh, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, uh, Stone to the Pilots, a few others. You know, uh, I've added a lot of music recently. Uh, so now my playlist has like I think a little over 80 bands. I haven't counted in a, like a couple weeks or whatever, but yeah, a lot of stuff. So. Uh, my playlist, my main playlist, is uh, 5.8 days long. Now, I'm using a different uh, music player for this video, because uh, I don't want to interrupt my, uh, I want to see just how long I can stretch that playlist out. It's got like over 1800 songs. So, I've been playing, I mean, I've been mainly playing it at work and on my drives and whenever I go to the gym. Anyway, so, Soundgarden, What's playing? What's playing right now? Uh, Super Unknown is my favorite album. It's good stuff. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I listen to a pretty good variety of music now. Like I mean, classic rock, uh, metal, grunge, alternative metal, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and uh, of course, I've uh, I also have like. Demos from certain bands. I mean, obviously, I have Metallica's demos. Uh, had those for a long time. Like, especially their their pre Kill 'Em All days when Dave Mustaine used to be in the band. Of course, I had that. <laughs> there's a, basically there's a recording uh, from like a year before Kill 'Em All was released. Uh, has most of the same songs. Uh, only Dave Mustaine was. Lead guitar. So yeah. Okay, that's that's gonna that's gonna get on my nerves. <sighs> These curtains are really getting on my nerves. They shouldn't be there, but they are. Anyway, so moving on from music, uh, like I said, it's been an interesting month. Uh, working out, things going great, I think. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still not where I want to be yet, but I mean, I'm more fit now than I was last year. But yeah, um, anyway, so. Uh, earlier this month, I was having some issues with my car. I drive a Ford Escape, uh, 2006. Uh, has a lot of miles on it now, uh, 200,000. Uh, I'm not sure how many it had when I first got it, but I know it was pretty high. Got it, I got it in the spring of 2018. And for the most part, it's been alright. I mean, it hasn't had any major issues, aside from the November of 2018, uh, but, you know, aside from that, it's gone pretty well until this month. This month, uh, it kind of just start, started having issues uh, when uh, my, my sister's car broke down, or not broke down, but been having issues. Her, my sister's, her car's been having issues, uh, so she's been, she's been having me pick Sometimes I'd pick her up from work or whatever, but sometimes she would take my car out for a drive or whatever. The problem is she's always going long ass distances because I somehow uh, lose a tank of gas, lose a, almost half a tank of gas in just a couple of days. And that doesn't usually happen. My, my car is actually pretty efficient. <laughs> I can stretch it about almost, almost two weeks. 
so yeah. Uh, but it was starting to have issues on her. Uh, apparently she went out after I got home from work. Uh, she was like, I just need to buy your car or whatever. I was like, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which I regret, but anyway, she, uh, she said she was, uh, started having issues with it stalling or whatever, which, I don't know, she, uh, she managed to get home the next day, uh, I mean, and I was able to get, get, I was able to get work and all that, this was, uh, two, two weeks ago, no, three weeks ago, yeah, because, uh, it's February 28th now, so, uh, yeah, I don't know, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was on a Saturday, it was the day that it snowed, uh, so I was able to take, I took it to work, uh, it was acting, it was starting to act a little funny, uh, not in the sense that she described it, but, I mean, she, it, that, that following week, you know, it started to, like, skip, where, uh, whenever I tried to, like, accelerate, it would just, uh, get really bumpy it was just struggle so <sighs> yeah um but later on that week I did finally get it checked out uh taken care of apparently the coil patch were going bad but you know before that happened before you know we got it fixed you know and I posted about it on Facebook and all that you know naturally you know, some of my friends that are like, you know, Chevy, Toyota fans, whatever. They they were quick to say, that's what you get for driving a Ford. Fords are crap. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear it. I've seen plenty of Chevy broke down. I've, pl I've seen plenty of, well, maybe not that many, as many Toyotas, but still. <laughs> I've seen. Your car is not perfect. Your jacked up Chevy is not perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, honestly, I like Ford. A couple of bad experiences is not going to turn me away. I still, uh, I still plan to skip it. It's a stick with Ford. I mean, honestly. Like, in the future, I, I either want, like, a Explorer Expedition or, uh, or, you know, if I make really good money, Getting myself a Lincoln Navigator. Yeah. Although, with gas going up, I might uh, just get like a Lincoln Aviator uh, hybrid, plug in hybrid. The Aviator is essentially the Lincoln version of the Explorer. But yeah. But anyway. That's like future, whatever. Uh, I'm. My car is working fine now. I have no complaints. Uh, it's doing all right. So, yeah, got glad glad I got that taken care of, and I'm glad that was quick because I gotta have a car, gotta go out. I I mean, I know I don't have a social life, but I do have a life. Uh, work, college, and uh, the gym very important to me. Um, like, I mean, if I was going to have issues with my car, I would have rather it been when I had COVID. But now, I don't. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> I'm in, like, the best shape. I'm in great shape. So, anyway. Moving on from all that. Uh, so, things at college are going fairly well. Uh, I did try to start working an extra day each week uh, for the past few weeks, but uh, I just real I got too much to do now. Uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go in this come Tuesday. So I'm not scheduled, so I don't have to be there. Yeah, uh, the things at college are going fairly well, even though I feel kind of overwhelmed sometimes. It it's going all right. I just gotta try to stay focused. But the good thing is, I'm finally starting to finally uh, 
started hanging out with kind of a group of people, uh, some of which are photography students. Now, the issue is, they're all a whole lot younger than me. Like, you know, they're like around 19 or whatever. So it's like a decade. That's, I'm very self-conscious about that because I'm not 19. <laughs> I wish I was. I mean, honestly, I'm in, I'm in way better shape now than I was when I was 19, because I was fat. But, <laughs> still, I feel old. You know? I feel like I'm that weird older dude. It's just... But, I mean, some of the people seem pretty cool. I get the, I kind of get the vibe, though, that there's some, you know, some of the girls, though, that they... Some of the girls in that group kind of just, uh... Don't care for me. And it's not even that I'm interested in them. It's just, uh, I just kind of get the feeling, you know. Honestly, my biggest flaw is that I try so hard to fit in. It's, I wish I didn't care, but I do. That's just my problem. Uh, I've always been kind of a, an outcast in society. Uh, you know, because I'm unusual. I'm, uh, and I'm really unusual. Uh, I mean, I, I hate bringing this up. I really do. But yeah, Asperger's Syndrome. Uh, honestly, it was a bigger issue for me when I was younger because I was, I was an obnoxious asshole. Especially in middle school. But, still, really, uh, all it does now is just make me socially awkward. <laughs> That's it, pretty much. Otherwise, I don't know. I it's it's just a frustration. One new thing. One thing I absolutely hate. One reason I hate bringing it up because I don't want people to think of me as special needs. I hate that shit. I hate it. No, because I'm not. I'm not a dumbass. Well, no, I kind of am, but I'm for different reasons. My, uh, I'm only a dumbass uh, when it comes to women, but I'm not, I'm just a weird guy. <laughs> That's all. I don't want, I don't want anyone's pity or anything. Just, uh, you know, I just want to be like, you know, I just want a social life. Whatever. <sighs> anyway, my my problem now is that I uh, I overthink things. I uh, I don't trust people. Most people, some people I do, but most people I don't because because you know, like I said, I've been treated like an outcast uh, <laughs> a lot. Like now, when I was younger, I would say when I was a kid, up like. Up through uh, middle school, I was picked on a lot, uh, especially in seventh grade. Uh, I moved to Habersham right before eighth grade, but people uh, people didn't some people kind of uh, ease back on the pick the picking on me by eighth grade. I mean, yeah, I mean I'm living in a better place now. I mean, I know I uh, I know I talk a lot of crap about ha Habersham, but I mean. I'd rather be here than, uh, you know, in the city, I guess, just because it was kind of rough down there. There was a lot of, you know, gang stuff. It's, it's different. But yeah, uh, people kind of stopped picking on me, partially, which, but I think one of the biggest reasons, like, that people stopped picking on me was I stopped being six, I stopped being five two. <laughs> Puberty kicked in. I got tall. Well, I just got big. I was just, I'm been a big dude. <laughs> Basically, uh, 13 I was 5'2", and then 14 I went from like 5'9 to 5. I was about 6 feet when I was 15, so <laughs> I was not as easy to pick on. But people kind of, you know, at that point, you know, 
the way it is that people just, a lot of people just don't want to associate with me. Uh, see, I'm, even though I'm a big dude, I'm not, I'm not generally violent. Not unless I get hit first. I, uh, I never start a fight, but, you know, I'm not what I appear to be. I don't, I mean, I'm a big dude, but I'm not an asshole. I'm actually pretty chill, you know, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, people kind of, uh, people now mostly either don't want to associate with me or they'll, you know, kind of pretend to be my friend and then talk shit about me behind my back. You know, I mean that happened a lot. I used to get really angry about it. I mean, sometimes there's some. Sometimes it still kind of gets to me, but not as much as it did during my senior year when some people started spreading rumors. <sighs> Bullshit rumors. I got so mad. And I made a bunch of videos about it. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. So, um, and now I got another, uh, situation where, uh, this just happened, it's only happened in like the week, the past week and a half, uh, met a girl and, uh, basically, uh, basically I'm starting to catch feelings, but I mean, what I gotta do though, I, this is a girl that works, just started working at Walmart, uh, she seems pretty great, but I, I need to... I need to try to pursue her, whatever. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it because, you know, my luck with women hasn't exactly been great. So, you know, usually you don't make it far enough to ask her out, ask a girl out. So, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. I just want to know, like, when I'm trying to figure out, like, when's the right time or how I should go about doing all this. But, you know, I just can't do what I did before and. You know, like, waste time. I'd rather find out right away if she's interested. Well, I'd rather find out sooner than later. Anyway, uh. So, yeah. I'm not gonna go any, into any more detail about that. It's just, uh. I just uh, kind of overthink things. I, uh, I feel like, like, like I don't know. My last uh, last convers last time I said, last time I saw her, like a couple days ago, I was like, I, whenever I said something, whenever I talked to her or whatever, you know, the first thing that pops up in my popped up in my head was, why am I like this? Because you know, I'm kind of. I'm awkward as hell, so, but yeah, but moving on here, uh, February is pretty much over, uh, this coming month, uh, I'm hoping to get my, uh, my lens situation taken care of. Now, my big telephoto lens, uh, you know, I sent it off, like, to get repaired, uh, late January uh, however uh, after emailing them like last week they said but this was like a place called Midwest camp repair or whatever because you know they, they, they're supposed to repair Sigma lenses but when I emailed them uh, this past week uh, they informed me that That uh, they had to, they're, they're gonna have to send it to Sigma, like actually actual Sigma, uh, get it repaired. So I won't be getting the lens back quite as soon as I was hoping. Uh, <sighs> hopefully it won't be too much longer. Uh, but either way, I mean I'm hoping it'll be this coming month. It has to be because I need that lens for spring, my spring pictures. Also, 
also, uh, hopefully, hoping that the stimulus checks that, like, we're supposed to be getting, uh, I mean, right now things are looking fairly optimistic, but probably, like, in the middle of the month, we're supposed to be getting the 1400 uh, and I'm hoping that will pull through because I want to get the Sigma 135 millimeter f1.8. That will be my uh, be the replacement to my uh, my Nikon 105. It's, it's it's in pretty bad condition 105. So honestly, I've I've looked at pictures. Uh, I've you know I've looked at all the specs of the 135 yeah it's kind of zoomed it's kind of uh it's a longer focal length not much longer but a little bit uh but it it has a certain qualities are better it, it can focus closer which is because i do a lot of which is great because i do a lot of close up stuff uh, during the spring uh also defocus background looks better I mean I'm not saying the defocus background on my 105 was bad but it it background was kind of awkward when uh, you know when you're not as focused in like let's say uh, let's say during this video I mean if you've seen pictures of my uh, well a video like this I've done, I've done, I've done videos with that lens before. I think I've done a few last year, uh, but it kind of has a weird uh, distortion around the sides and all that. So I mean, this looks kind of weird. So unless you're close, when you're close, when you're close up enough uh, or whatever in the background's more out of focus it doesn't really seem to be a big deal but otherwise it is kind of weird it doesn't look great but this Sigma lens uh, doesn't seem to have that issue so yeah but that's about it I mean honestly one of my biggest goals uh, next month is to get bigger like yeah and uh lose some more, lose more of this. I mean, I'm already pulling off shirts uh, now that I haven't been able to pull off since the summer 2019. So, I mean, things are getting better there too, but there's definitely a whole lot of room for improvement. I'm going to try some supplements or whatever to try to get past this whole plateau thing because I feel like I've past couple of weeks of my progress in certain areas have slowed down, like shoulders. I just, uh, I want to look like my Sims character. Um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know how things will pan out with this girl, but just keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I'd rather find out sooner than later if things are not meant to be. I will not make. I will not go through uh, another 2018, 2019. I will not. So, so yeah. <laughs> I guess that's really all I had to say. Um, so you guys have a great day. Uh, 